All right, three, two, one. So to start things off, we're gonna be doing Super Ultra Dead Rising 4 Mini Golf for a marathon commentary. I think this game will work great in many marathons. Mini golf games don't normally do too terrible, and this game has a unique spin of mini golf being the only horror themed mini golf game to ever exist. It came with Dead Rising 4, which is a terrible game, but the mini golf's actually not awful. Anyway, the timer's gonna start once I hit zero after start the game. It starts with the timer, so I'll count down for us. Four, three, two, one, go. Now, a part of the game's run is actually gonna be the intro lag. It can be as long or as short as you want, and we have to make it through about six different courses, four holes each. Let's see how long the initial load takes. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. It usually doesn't, but I think if you run the game for too long, it can. And this is normally about 30 seconds of loading. There we go. We're going to have little intros, which I'll just hope I remember how to skip those. I want to say just right click. And we're going to be using the mouse and keyboard for this. You think controller for golf game? No. Oh, I got a longer load. That's bad. All right, yeah, right click is Looks skip. Like you can skip everything. One, and we better. are going to be right. putting. Different courses have different rules. Some you putt, some you do not. I just want to yeet this ball down the hole. Yeet! And that was almost a hole in one. Pretty good, not too bad. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Not close enough. A hole in one here would have been better, but it's not the end of the world. If you don't, if you miss the candy cane, you're good. The, the little lollipop swing down. And now we have finished our first hole. It was not a hole in one, but I did get a birdie. A birdie is good. If you don't know golf rules, you have hole in one, birdie, all that stuff. As well, every level you want to be ready to skip. There's a result screen. We don't care. The speedrun actually, you can get bogeys the entire time, but it will be faster to do the actual holes. Santa's Village is the first level and is going to be much easier than the rest of the levels coming up, so keep that in mind. This is going to be an example of the first pitch and putt, and it is going to be exactly what you think about. Uh, you want to zoom in, get your shot nice and lined up. You have turbo pads, and you want to be on those pretty well. Generally, you want to be... Uh, yes, you are here in the game. Generally, you want to be not getting these, because if you get to slow motion, it will take up a lot of time through these animations with the zombies. This is actually pretty bad. I know it's not terrible for the actual shot, but it's pretty bad given that I did waste some time off that. Luckily, this is actually be a skip you can do only on New Game Plus. Uh, what I'm going to be able to do is actually uh, pop out that, and I want to go about right here or so. And that will land me right about where the hole is. Let's see. I didn't want to bounce too far either, so that was a really good shot. I was in Rocket Steven anyway. Hope you're all doing well. Sweet. Okay. This is actually a pretty good hole so far, and... If you're wondering how, do I, how far do I know how to shoot these, it's mostly estimates and feelings. There isn't like a, oh, you go this far, like Mario Golf and other pleb tier golf games give you. No, this game you must be able to feel the championship of golfing. Mini golf is the way to go. You have a Frank West announcer. You know how you love Frank West's cheeky dialogue, right? That's what we all play Dead Rising for, Frank West. I mean, I don't know what they did to my boy Frankie, me, folks, this hole but not be more monstrous if it had he will comment on every hole. So this hole, a weird thing is you want to use the turbo boost, and it is mostly RNG. I also need to stop hitting perfect shots because I'm gonna freeze every zombie on the way down. Oh, I got bad orange. I hit it too far. There's no window account for, but this level's weird because they can fall down in different states. Getting a hole in one will usually be better because we don't have to worry about the fall animation that will happen every time you enter. If you're wondering what killing zombies does, it will give you more points, it will give you more money, and that's about it. Points don't actually matter when it comes to mini golf. It's all about how many uh, you sink in. This is about right there, I think. Let's hope I got that right. Oh, a bit too strong. Again, it's a bit of a tricky feeling. It's not too bad, though. You don't lose too much time. And score, ultimately, isn't going to be the end of the world, because all you have to do is beat the courses. Hey, you get it, kid. How's it going? Good to see him. Don't overdo it now! Oh, that may have been overdone. All right, thank God we got that. Very good. Now, in Santa's Village, we'll have one more hole. Exactly. Hi, Mochan. How's it going? The music, by the way, is going to be from a lot of famous Capcom games. It's going good. 
And we have the fourth hole. First of... I want to say there is 24... Normal. Four of 24 right now. Crying to mommy. And this one, you just kind of want to get in the middle. And you want to keep here. going. Oh. Right about there. And timing that, I usually do it when it's open. And it'll be open by the time I get there. And there we go. It, it, it does take a bit of time to get used to. And you want to hit it hard enough? Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. I messed up. Because you wanted to be able to get on this ramp. I just swap over the putter and we will launch this ball. Because the hole is right there. You can hole in one this, by the way, if you manage to get that. And I've never been able to time the landing because it takes place on a, uh, a boost pad. Which is a bit of an issue. But if you time that right, you can actually get it to slide down. Alright, that should be good. Alright, I lost a little bit of time on Santa's Village, but overall, not too bad. And for a marathon, my estimate would likely be about 35 minutes. Like, there's nothing that'll make you mess up that badly, I don't think. Also, there's gonna be a button coming up. We split whenever we get to the main result of the level, by the way. Splits don't, won't matter in a marathon, but... It depends. Alright, there we go. And I want to say the button is N. You just start mashing N. Let me just double check. You have to wait to go to the next one. There it is. It is N. If you mash N, it will just take you to the next course. Because to do the story, you actually want to keep going course by course. Exactly. I think it would be absolutely solid for a marathon. Because one, it's silly. It's dead rising mini golf. There's zombies everywhere. And it's just very strange. The power-ups as well don't really make a difference. I like the beach ball, so I use that. Uh, ice is okay, it'll freeze zombies, and it just kind of depends how you want to go. None of them go faster than the other. All the balls are cosmetic. The power-up comes from the clubs, but we're already using the best clubs in the game. You don't want to use weaker clubs because it just won't get you far enough. Every level also starts with a fr Dead Rising Frank that West like uh, little commentary thing, which we don't want. So we're going to ignore that. But now we're going to hit some of the harder holes, which are just going to be yeeting the ball as far as you can. That was good. And we want to be able to hit those yellow things because that might stop us. If you stop before that, that's also good. But you don't want to go too far because if you fall down, you will lose the run. As well, I'm going to be swapping uh, over to my wedge because the wedge will be right out here. What I want to do is I want to hit the yellow thing right there, the stopper, and then I want that to roll slightly afterward. This should be good, and that might be able to give me a hole in one. Oh, it was close. Well, hole in two, I should say. Some holes, obviously, you cannot get a hole in one because they are too far, but that was a good stop. You are correct, Teddy. That should be good. And... Golf claps, everybody. We must golf clap after every hole. And you also get to watch the dancing. We got an eagle. Also, yes. All the Street Fighter themes will show up. Music's a great part of this run. Because it's all the good music from other games that they borrowed. Anyway, this level is called Golden Apple Vineyard. It's more of a normal level. A lot of them are based off of the Dead Rising 4 actual main world, but nobody cares about the main world. So this level is going to be putter only, and the entire tech here is just don't mess up on this thing. I want to say I timed that right. Oh, no, I did it! Ah, uh, that's fine. I'll have to take the plug away, but this is okay. Timing that right would get you a nice spot because you want to get right about the middle. But it's not the end of the world. It's just, you can hole in one that if you manage to pass the uh, the big pylon there. I'm probably going to go for the hole in two. Or three, I should say. Oh, there's going to be a bit of distance, though. So I'm a bit worried about the shot. Normally, it can make that or it bounces behind it. But obviously, in a golf speedrun, you're not going to want to have to go for the um, best try every time. I want to take this carefully because it is a downhill slope. So it's aimed it to the right. And then about that should do it. Perfect. Accounting for the slopes is going to be a big thing in this. And again, it's not like Mario where you get the numbers. A lot of golf games will give you numbers. All you have is the max range and you have the mid range. And you have to do math inside your head in order to be able to get everything. It's a lot more math in Dead Rising 4 mini golf than you expect. In order to do Dead Rising 4, or sorry, ah, yes, Super Ultra Dead Rising 4 mini golf, you must have a master's degree in mathematics. I'm sorry. That, I don't make the rules. Frank West does. Uh, I, I should be able to land it right about there, I think. The New Game Plus clubs are also really great because you can just skip the entire level. 
Normally, it's just to go around a couple things. Like, oh, I have to land. Do I want to land properly? Do I want to land with the turbo? Nope, just fire it right next to the hole. Uh, if I was a bit more accurate, I may have only go right inside. Normally, though, I'm not going for... Uh, oh, am I making that? Uh, yeah, we did. Normally, I'm not going for right inside the hole because that's not really feasible. You always want a bit of a bounce because uh, you're not playing with a tiny, tiny golf ball. You're playing with a beach ball. You're playing with a big ball. And you have to make sure that you're accounting for that. Now, a lot of the trickier holes will come later in Medieval Town. Uh, next is going to be Pirate's Refuge, but for now, we're going to be finishing up with the Golden Apple Vineyard. So, Bob, I hear this hole's very popular with the zombie crowd. This one's fun because it's just, you have a safe strat of going right over here, and it should always make it in. I may have timed that a little bit too late. We'll see. Oh, no, come on. We, oh, no, no, the out of bounds. I, I call that time that improperly. That's fine. I'm taking a bit of time loss on that. Alternatively, you can take the barn and use the turbo there. But however, I can just time this properly. Uh, that should do it. Fool me once. Shame. Fool me twice. Shame on me. I am not timing that properly. One more and then I'll take the barn. Never get sick of this. Okay. There we go. Closed, and now it's open. That's better. That's how I should have been timing it. The timing on a lot of those is pretty rough because you have to account for everything. Um, distance is the biggest factor. Either way, we still end this on a par, and it's a minor time loss, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, there will still be plenty of time saved later in this run. Golden Lover Venue could also get tricky. You do have to be careful, but again, an estimate's about 35 just in case. Computer, how's it going? All right, there's a split, and now, I, like I mentioned, you mash N to go to the next course. Alternately, you can go back to the main menu and then pick the next course if you want, or pick any of the courses. But it's gonna be faster just to go course after course. And yes, the golf claps are very nice. As well, I want to mention really quick that this is the normal marathon commentary I do, meaning I will talk to chat, but most of it will be talking about the game and then obviously following marathon rules. We're entering Pirate's Refuge next, which starts to get tricky, but I think Medieval Town is where the game really spikes. We're still in the easier mode of this game. The final courses get really hard, but I think there's one or two levels with interesting skips. How's it going, Azon? Good to see you. I'm happy that's all clapping in chat, by the way. Okay, this is a fun one because this is a hole-in-one potential course. Uh, I want to use the wedge, actually, and then I'm going to go right about here. Let's see. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't do it, no! Oh, it fell. I missed the hole in one chance, but that, I mean, I, I do save time by not having to uh, do another stroke up uh, on the top, but I did miss my chance at a hole in one there, and it's a bit of a tougher shot now. About right. Oh, a bit too much. Mm. Oh, you know, if I would have done that right, it would have been perfect. If you get right here, all you do is just mash the button, you'll be fine. So close you can taste it. I love that because you don't even touch it and just goes forward. It's that thing you have to do if you barely miss it. It's not the end of the world. Uh, ideally, I wanted the middle one because certain um, tubes are going to lead me directly to the hole. It's starting to show that way whenever I make it. Also, the more zombies you kill, the I mean, I think it keeps the number on a bit longer, but I could be wrong. Hey, it's you. Thank you for the free sub. It's much appreciated. So, we actually have a bit of a skip here. Um, this is actually my own tech here. This is my own uh, technique. Uh, what you do is you get the wedge out, and then you fire right about here. And what it's going to do is launch off that wall and land you right next to the hole. Alternatively, for this level, you would have to go all the way around to get up here. But with the New Game Plus clubs, you can actually do a pretty big skip. Uh, nobody's been able to do that yet. Uh, I... Uh, found that skip and it's pretty cool for a golf game. There's actually a skip for one of the holes and it's great It is much faster. You can technically hold it on the hole if you land it correctly. Hey, I got 20 eagles. Are you kidding me? Sweet. The game's rewarding me as we speak, but that was a very good one Normally the level can get rough if you don't fire it right with the wedge 
but I aimed it properly, hit the wall. It took it a bit safer and it worked well. You can't just land it right next to the hole because the momentum will carry it forward and knock it off the platform, which you do not want. Correct, Spooder. Great sword. How's it going? Good to see you. The trick with this hole, Bob, will be to play golf. We have another putter only hole, and honestly, I've always just yeeted the ball. That is the best way I can put it. There's not really a better strat than yeet the ball. Yodi. Just launch that ball. There's no point to do anything else. And if you don't have enough momentum, you won't be able to make it over. Now, that looks like a normal ridge, but the problem is there's a weird hill on top of that. Like, there's a mound that if you don't have enough speed, it won't carry over. So you need to make sure that you are getting the speed to make it fully. If you time that right as well, you can actually have it land right in the hole, which would be really good. And this is a good car. Almost there. Look at all that momentum. I love how the ice ball just destroys the hole, by the way. Alright, we have one more hole. Let's say I get really, really good or really bad. As well, um, if you're wondering in terms of actual time save for the run itself, there's going to be a lot of time save later around uh, Industrial Zone and Medieval. I did not normally do those ones that well, so I'm hoping it goes well. I do get kind of greedy there. There's also some shots that you have to take that may or may not work. There's a bit of RNG in the run, believe it or not. This is probably one of my favorite holes by far, Pirate's Refuge, because you don't go around. There is actually a shortcut right over here. Let's get out the wedge. And I want to land it right about there. And again, we want to be going when it's opening. So I timed that perfectly, and this should be a hole in one as a result. Oh, too much momentum. Well, that's fine. That was pretty good. That's pretty good setup. Uh, no complaints there. And again, timing the hole is going to be a lot of the game of speedrun. Oh, we made it. I think the greatest part of the speedrun is all the golf clapping. Speedrunning golf clapping is the way to go. You could hole in one that hole. Uh, it is a bit tough because it's kind of RNG based, but it's not too bad. All right, You're a credit to the we already have time saves, that's pretty good. Really? And we are officially at the halfway mark of this game. We are now entering Medieval Town where I think the game extremely picks up. I'm a bit worried here, but we'll see. You have, Yuki, you have been defeated, this is, this is correct. Medieval Town Fairways. Not an easy level. Landmark Lane's really not the final levels would be really easy, but I think Medieval Town and Industrials where the run really hits its difficulty spikes. We have 12 holes left, and they're not easy ones. As well, you have to stare at Frank West every time. So the answer here is not the middle. It's actually the right. It's a bit of a uh, thing that is, uh, I guess, more surprising. Oh no, don't go in the middle! Oh, I messed up. That's fine. You want to go on the you want to go on the right side because that will lead you right to the hole, and you could hole in one that. But um, the angle ended up messing up my ball. It does happen, but it's not the end of the world. As well, I'm gonna take two more putts on that. That is already gonna be time loss. Uh, I'm gonna say eat it. Let's see what happens. Bad things happen. Okay, I avoided this. Um, do I even have the range to make that? I guess I do. Yeah. Oh, I use a wedge. That that would make more sense. It's like, is this a putter only course, or do I have to wedge it? All right. Wedge. Normally, you don't even do that. You just put it, and you'll be better off. As well, if it really hit the point that you needed to uh, go safe, you can just uh, get double bogey and lose the course and still counts as beating it. All you have to do is beat the course and you win. That may have been too weak. Just right, okay. Well. There still will be decent time save later in the run, but that was a pretty bad course. Uh, normally you want to do it a bit safer as well on the right side just so you can get that hole in one, but I did miss it. So that will be a problem for the Medieval Town Fairways. I did mention this is one of the hardest courses in the game, in my opinion. I think Industrial Zone does have a few sections that are a bit iffy, but I don't think they're as bad as Medieval. 
Our sponsor of the day is the Wilbur right. Fighting Turkeys. Hoping to remind you. This one you can pick any direction. Places. None of them will really change. They all kind of lead you to the same spot. Perfect. How's it going, Frank? Hope you're doing well. Thank you. There's no hole in one here. It just you can make it forward and you're good. But we do have another slope that we have to make it. I'm doing alright. We'll have to say. Also, I'm less sure about partnership today because I want to get all my GDQX stuff completed. I need to stop landing perfect shots. I mean, I guess they're going in, but still. That was a decent birdie. I'll take that. Okay, if I remember correctly, it's either hole 3 here or hole 4. It's going to be extremely rough. I'm not the biggest fans of those levels. As well, obviously, there's good donation time reading in between slow courses and uh, result screens because you have the results. Uh -huh. Alright, here we go. Finally, we can get this party truly Next hole is going to be the hard one. This one's pretty easy, actually. Um, you, I just want to... I want to say launch it right about there. As well, if I get out of that green sphere, I... Oh, my... Ball out of bounds. Okay, it didn't stop on the yellow thing. That's fine. Thank you, base RNG. Very unlucky. Okay, there we go. This is an easy course, if you don't mess it up. Keyword. They're gonna need all the luck they and then you just land on this thing. And then just launches for you. And then you get another yellow stopper. And this one looks tricky, but it's not so bad. You just get your wedge and you want it to go right in the middle. There's no need to actually use the thing over there because it's pretty risky. So what I do instead is go right here and just launch it. And sometimes you can actually make it in. So, I mean, it's close enough. It's usually fine. And I don't have any complaints with it, really. Okay. And inside. Good. All right, we're in. And that was uh, level three of Medieval. Level four is going to be the final one. And this one can really go either way. I want to say this is either going to be the one with RNG or this is going to be the one with a really tough shot. Uh, hole 4 is probably one of the worst ones in Medieval, if I remember correctly. I want to say this is the one I always miss. So if I don't miss it, I save time. Willamette didn't used to be riddled with holes. Yes, it is this one. Okay. So this one is a bit weird. Oh, good question, Teddy. Uh, I want to make it right about... Let's play a bit safer. So I'll go right about... Here. All right, we did it. We did it. I always lose time here. This is gonna be gold, or save me a lot of time. Um, I usually miss this one because I try going for the uh, hole in one, but you can just launch it and you should be good. Also, Teddy asks a great question. This relates to the Dead Rising lore because there is a one-off line in the beginning of the game where they say they wanted to go mini golf. So they eventually go mini golf, but Frank West doesn't even mini golf. He just runs it. It is a line where Frank West utters the phrase, "I love mini golf," and that is it. And that is the entire reason why this game exists. It is an extra DLC, which I'm not sure why they added horror-themed mini golf. But either way, that's a good time saving, a good hole. All right, meet y'all at the country club. Okay, now we're entering industrial zone. The back half of the final two are a bit rough. Landmark lane is not too bad, but industrial zone will be really tough. There is one hole here that is absolute RNG and loses you a lot of time if you don't get it. I mean, it's either, it's, I guess it's 50-50. There's not really much else with the RNG. Either it happens or it doesn't. I know it's a weird way of putting it, but it's going to be having one of the uh, hole vents and you have to be very careful to land the hole vent. But this will be industrial zone, which is usually very tough. And it will test the the feats of Dead Rising 4 mini golf speedrunning. This one also is going to have a nice time Good save, point, uh, but this one I've no, always sounds a bit easier. I just kind of launch it right about did, there. Too, which on this oh, hold on. Frank West said a bad word. Oh, uh, do I make it? Don't fall down, we're good. Okay, we're good. I don't get the hole in one, but this could likely be a hole in two. You just want to get one of the vents open, which, again, you want to kind of target it um, right about there. 
and just launch it. And we should make it right into the hole. It just drops you in. If you don't get hole in one there, or you don't get hole in two, that'd be bad. Alternatively, if you fall down the middle, you have to do more putting. So I do save a bit of time on that, but not enough. If I got it on both of things, it would have been fine. But you have to worry about one, the anchor, and then you also have to worry about the vent itself. So there's a lot going on with that. All right, hole two of industrial zone. Here we go. This, is brought to you by our friends and family and this one's one of the easier ones, actually. You just want to keep launching it off the turbo pads. Which, the entire strategy, just aim for a turbo pad, max shot it. And don't get out of the green. Getting out of the green will massively slice the ball, and you do not want to slice your ball. Oh, I, I do not have enough momentum, though, sadly. It's going to roll downhill in slow motion. Yeesh. Thank you, game. And I got an extra explosion. Okay, on the upside though, this is gonna be pretty easy to make. What I aim for is directly towards this because it's one of the easiest things to get. There's zero RNG because it'll roll back into the turbo pad. So even if it hits the wall, it'll roll back directly into the turbo pad. So it just keeps going whoop, whoop. It'll keep zipping. I mean, obviously you'll lose time if it keeps zipping like that, but you're not gonna get, um, you're not gonna lose a stroke and it'll be faster yes, than the alternative. Uh, a little bit too much, I think, but we should be fine. Hey. Okay. I want to say it's either the next one or the oh, fourth one, one, which is going to be... I think that's hole number four, which is the one that gives me trouble. And it is indeed going to be the hardest course in the game. Even the finale courses aren't as hard as Industrial Zone 4 or 3. I'm trying to remember which one, but I'm blanking on the top of my head, just because a lot of the courses are either, like, I, I recognize them as I see them. Really Alright, it's Industrial Zone uh, 4 really? I'm thinking about. This one's kind of weird, though, because there's a skip I can do, but I've never been able to, uh, like, I got it a few times. I can never do it consistent. Did I get it? Did I get a skip? Oh my god, I got it! So, you can get the skip if you can manage to launch the putter forward, and that's a hole in... Hole in one! The way the skip works is because you can only use the putter there, so you have to actually launch it off the ramp onto the turbo pad to go on into the hole. And that was pretty good. Okay, now comes the next hole. Hole 4. Like I mentioned, this is going to be an RNG hole. The reason why is because I have to get two well, shots, the and there are two vents you have to go through. So, one, I need to get the RNG on this first vent, and then I need the RNG on a second vent afterward. So, I have to count for two vents. Uh, that should do it. And let's hope this... Well, oh, I might be uh, a bit too early. Open. All right. Oh, what? No! What? Excuse me? I... You know what? It's not dead, so it's not that bad. I can just do it normal from here. But normally what I'm supposed to do is land inside the vent and then go into another vent. Luckily the hole is right there, so I could just do this. But that was massively unlucky. I don't know how it bounced out like that. Okay. Worked out anyway. It worked out anyway, we're good. But that could potentially be a hole in one or just on the green, which is much safer. I, did, I had a very good shot there, so it worked in my favor, but that was a bit rough. I likely save a bit of time here. I don't know if it golds, but I do save time. Just a little bit. I do gold. I am an expert, and I can confidently say that those are good scores. Okay. The final hole. Landmark lane. So that did feature gold, and that wasn't too shabby at all. Landmark lanes does have some interesting tech. Uh, I think the final hole is my favorite here, but we have four holes left in the run. And, I mean, it's a pretty interesting run where you kind of just play through all the mini golf courses. Um, they load them for you in sequential order, so you don't have to like, go to the menu each time, and it's weird. Um, you can just do it a one shot. It's a pretty short, like, half hour run. It is unique in that, it, one, it's a mini golf speed run, and then Dead Rising, a horror themed mini golf game. There's not a lot like that. And it's delightfully silly, and it plays decently well for what it is. Frank West isn't even with us this time. Ah, Willamette, the city that never sleeps. Okay. Or is it lives? I like this one because it's a skip. Uh, in New what Game you Plus, up? you can just straight up do this. And I have skipped the entire level. The only thing, though, is you do have to be careful not to launch it too far. Because if you do launch it too far, you will go off the course and you will have to do it again. 
But that's why the yellow stoppers are there. The sand traps. And... Alright, we're good. So far, so good. That was a good one. Three more. I love that, by the way, because in New Game, you don't get to do that. But in New Game Plus, you do get to do that. I think I'm only going to do New Game Plus for this, by the way. I don't really want to do New Game. New Game is a bit tedious. Soul Seek and New Game Plus. There we go. All right, three Today's more. Game is brought to you by Home this one Home is putter runners. only, and clubs. you could Good get stuff. a skip here and never been able to get it, but it's a bit rough. Let's see if I can land it. Uh, no. So the theme, or not the theme, the skip you would get here is you manage to go at the top of that and then get it to slide down this hill. But now I have to be careful. I'm gonna launch it right about there. Let's see if I can get the momentum I need. It'll probably get right in front of that big slope. And then you can get a cool little um, stroke here where you hit it on the top and then it'll go right into the hole. So let's see if I can land it. It is not easy, but I can try it. Do I get it? Oh, so close. Yeah, I've never been on the land this level skip. Baku, let me give something to Teddy Ross. Thank you very much. That's much appreciated. And we should be good here. A little bit much, but I think this will be fine. Yeah! Two more! Good two more holes. Yes. And the next two are going to be much tougher than uh, the past two. The first two of Landmark Lanes aren't that bad. The next two of Landmark Lanes... Hole 4 is also really weird because it's a big skip and it's very awkward to hit. All good, Baku. It is appreciated, though. This hole was sponsored by the Terror is Reality Survivors Fund. Okay. Supporting former reality TV stars in the aftermath. So, the, the reason why this is tough is because you need to land it right about there. And then just get it inside. <laughs> As you saw earlier what happened in the industrial zone uh, hole 4, I did have an issue where it could bounce off the hole, so if you don't hit it just right, you can just fly. However though, it doesn't get too bad, because then afterward you can just kind of, uh, I'm going to play it safe, go right about there. Playing it risky would be going straight for the hole, and hoping that momentum carries me. Uh, if you hit it too hard, again, you might end up going out of bounds, and you do not want that. So I played it safer, I aimed it right about a spot, I knew momentum would stop. And now, because of that, I am able to uh, get a little bit more off that. Is that going to be enough? It should with the downhill slope. It is. Alright, there's one more course in this game. Not too shabby. Damn, that turned out real nice. And this has been Dead Rising 4 Mini Golf. I do hope you all enjoyed it so far. Uh, I have a lot of good games on tech for this, but this is definitely one I want to try getting into a marathon because it's just downright silly. And it's a very unique thing. I think, like... I don't know if it's GDQ worthy, but I think this can make into many other marathons. Just because I don't know how GDQ feels about golf. Maybe they like it, maybe they don't. They like it, though. I think it'd be a good I addition. But like here we go, the final the hole. Point. So the normally you just go around and try making it up, but there's a skip if you manage to. Uh, hold on. Uh, I actually use this aim better. If you hit the pirate base, you can actually stop the ball. And by stopping the ball, you can then make it inside the tube. I did not get inside the tube, but I did get the first skip. And then you just launch it inside. Alright, we have one more hole left, and then time will be coming up once we get the results screen for Landmark Lanes. Just gotta line it up. And here we go, last one. We are in. We got that birdie. And then, let's see, what am I going to get? I want to say about... the My gold, actually, hold on. Not, this, not these results, but the next ones. Probably about 33, 42. Maybe less. Oh, and a little bit more. 46. Tiger. And that was Dead Rising 4 Mini Golf. With all the courses, New Game Plus. About 33, 46. And even then, I had a bit of a rough time in Golden Apple Vineyard. 
The rest of it was pretty good. Uh, I don't think, I think if Golden Apple Vineyard would have been better, it'd probably have been closer to PB, but honestly, my estimate's a 35, because I know some of the holes can get bad. That's okay, it's the nature of the way the game goes. Anyway, I did hope you enjoyed Dead Rising 4 Mini Golf. Um, 